Right, hello everybody, welcome down to Warrington Golf Club. I'm Matt Fryer and today we're going to be taking a look at how your weight transfer could be causing two nasty problems in your golf swing. So let's have a look at that video now. So if you are new to the channel guys, do remember to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification for all the videos that are coming out to help you improve your golf this year. So one of the things that I've been seeing from a few lessons recently is a problem in the weight transfer. What's actually happening once we've created the backswing, we have transition into the downswing, what happens with the weight? And the common fault seems to be a lot to do with the hips and a lot to do with the trail foot, what's going on there. Because if we all think of a good golf swing, what we would, you know, one of the words I generally use to describe a good golf swing when I've seen it flowing throughout would be balance. And one of the problems that I'm seeing from people at the moment is they can take a really good setup, they can actually have the club moving in a really nice manner, in a nice movement and a nice shape around the body, but then something happens in the way, on the way down into the uh, downswing from the transition. We tend to see that their lead hip pulls backwards and this trail foot spins out behind them and actually as they finish they don't look too bad they might have a little bit of the old reverse c position but they've got some of the traits where we say oh yeah get up put your back foot up off the ground get into a tall finish it looks like they've done it but under further investigation we see that it's not all quite there so i'm going to give you a drill today that's going to fix it Okay, so before we get into the drill, I'm going to talk through two of the problems that we're going to see when we do have this poor transition. So firstly, an iron swing. What we would see in one of the things in posture and weight transfer, that has a big effect on how we actually strike the golf ball. Whether we're going to be returning the club back onto the ball, get it bottoming out at the right point, make the lowest point of our arc happen at the correct point and see that we get a good strike. Because one of the things that can happen, and I've just got a tee peg in here, in fact I'll put a ball down for you, it's easier to see. As we go through this, like I say, we can see a really good backswing happening. And then, it, like I say, it's this lead hip gets pulled away from target and the trail foot spins out. And one of the things that can happen there, if that happens, generally what we would see is more pressure is being put down on to this right leg for me, my trail leg. So as I go back then, one of the things that could happen is I bottom out too early. I'd sometimes get the one where it's coming down, I impact the ground a good couple of inches, maybe a foot behind it, or I've done it that much and figured out that I'm going to do it, I get up above the golf ball and I thin it or I top it, all because I was working away from the golf ball this way and getting this trail foot spinning out away. And one of the telltale signs if you are doing that, especially when the grass is, you know, a little bit wet, if you were to look where you were standing, where your trail foot's been, you'd see a sort of like churning up spinny type of cut in the grass instead of it being just rolled up and not really affecting the grass. Once you've hit your shot, it would look as if you've really spun on the spot from where that is. And like I say, once you've started doing this, you would see that you're getting a bit of an inconsistent impact. Like with a driver and an iron, one of the things that can happen, and a little bit more so, it would be a bit more apparent with a driver. Once I'd turn to the camera this way, if I were to do the same thing and then start my downswing with this move of this, one of the things that you'll be able to see there now is that shaft starts to get a little bit steeper. It comes from over the top. And because my body's moving in this direction, and as I deliver the club to the golf ball now, what we would see is I'm spinning out backwards. I'd actually be coming quite significantly from out to in. So you could actually be moving the club quite nicely in terms of you're not really throwing it over the top or dropping it too much under or doing any really funky movements. But because of this little movement here, you actually start the downswing with the lower half, but not in the right manner. You're not throwing your arms, but it still leads to you coming across it and either hitting a bit of a pull 
or you could see a slice happening from there. So let's give you a drill that's gonna help you get into some better moves in your downswing and see that you stop this happening. Okay, so one of the drills that I'd like to do, you'd either need two clubs, and it, like or one club alignment cane, and something that you can put behind your trail foot. For me, I've got a little bottle of water here. So what I'd do is I'd take my setup, like I would normally do, to this iron. There we go, all feels solid there. I'd now, from this position, place this water bottle about two inches behind my trail heel. And for me, I'm also gonna place this club just inside the line of my lead heel here. And like I say, the first movement that we would see, we create, let's move that ball a tiny bit. There we go. We create really good angles, really good movements in the backswing, but the first move is to get the trail hip, uh, sorry, the lead hip spinning away from the cane or the shaft down below here, and then also kicking out my lead foot. So it would look something where I go here and I've knocked out this, uh, I've knocked over this water bottle there. So what we actually want to try and do is something where we take our setup again, place it in. We're gonna make some swings and one of the first things I like my students to do is just take the club and place it across their shoulders like this now for me. And I like to say, right, the first thing we're trying to do is get this club once we've finished our golf swing in front of the cane down below. If we do that correctly and we've driven forwards, once the right foot turns up, we actually won't see that I've hit the water bottle there. So I've got my club now in front of the cane down below me on the floor. I'm finishing over my left side and I didn't get that hit of the water bottle and knock it over from there. So we'd have four or five of these swings where turn, feel I'm driving forwards and getting over this cane or stick on the floor. See that I'm finished there, here. And each time as I'm doing this, what you should notice is that I don't knock over my water bottle. If I were to spin back behind the shaft and kick my right foot out, I'm gonna knock this one over. So I'd be in, have a few of those. Then once I've got used to it, I like to start off with something like a six iron, a seven iron, hitting three quarter shots and see that we can start to get the same results here. We're not knocking over the water bottle and we're finished nice and turned over there. So let's give that a go and see if I can do that. Okay, so I've built my good setup now. You can see that I've got water bottle behind my right foot there. I've got my stick down in front of me, so I'd have a few small rehearsals of what it is to feel like it. Make sure I'm not hitting that water bottle over. From the top, I feel I drive slightly in front of the shaft on the floor, and I see that I get that finish. And once I've then got in, I've got the ball pegged up just to help me with a little bit of ease of strike and I'll probably only hit this about 75% just to make sure I'm getting the feelings and actually understanding of what it is. So we're looking for a swing that isn't going to knock the water bottle over and I finish fully over the shaft or the cane on the floor there. So good setup and through. As you can see, no water bottle knocked down, really nice strike. I've finished over the cane here and I've got a successful shot there. So if you are someone who is seeing really poor contacts and you feel that you're backing away from the golf ball when you hit it and you feel that your trail foot is spinning out, resulting in that poor contact or that club being dragged from out to in, seeing that bit of a slice, give this drill a go. See if it can get rid of those problems for you. Guys, I hope this video has helped you. If it has, do hit that like button for me. Comment down below, are you someone who suffers with this problem and think that this could help you? Also, do remember to hit the subscriber button. I've got some giveaways coming up soon, so you'll need to be involved as a subscriber for those. If you do wanna come and see me down at Trafford as well, all the information is linked down below. Give this drill a go, and I'll see you soon with a new video to help your golf.